What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to the latest very exciting Liverpool transfer news video and today's big topic is Philip Coutinho because according to the Daily Mail and the Mirror newspapers and various other newspapers in Spain, Liverpool considering buying Philip Coutinho back from Barcelona after a disappointing spell for him at the No Camp and reportedly Barcelona want to sell Coutinho so they can fund the Griezmann transfer which will be announced shortly and also they are going for Neymar who wants to go back to Barcelona from Paris Saint-Germain. So my big question is do you guys want Liverpool to re-sign Coutinho and how much would be a fair price for him? Let me in the comments uh, below and leave a like on this video it just takes a second for you guys if you enjoy these transfer news content and if you want more and subscribe turn on the bell notification so you never miss a future upload so according to the reports Liverpool are open to re-signing Philip Coutinho after him struggling for form at the No Camp and I read that you know Barcelona paid 6.8 million pounds per goal for Coutinho because he didn't score a lot of goals and he cost 145 million and I only want Liverpool to sign Coutinho if the price is right which means that I would pay a maximum of like 70 million pounds for Coutinho Barcelona at the moment are resigned to the fact that they will lose out a lot of money on Coutinho I don't think they expect anybody to bid anywhere close to the 145 million pounds and I think Liverpool, if they only pay 70 million for Coutinho, even though I'm not a big fan of how Coutinho forced the move towards Barcelona, but ultimately I want Liverpool to be the strongest they can possibly be. And I think if the price is right, for 70 million, I want Liverpool to re-sign Coutinho. But I, this channel is also about you guys and your opinions so leave them in the comments below how many of you guys want Liverpool to re-sign Coutinho and how many of you guys would want Liverpool to re-sign him for like 70 million pounds that's the big question and I just want to, do, to give you a little bit more information on why exactly Coutinho failed so badly at Barcelona one of the reasons for his struggles is that he has uh, actually failed to find a specific role for himself in the Barcelona tactical system. At Liverpool, Jurgen Klopp afforded Coutinho much creative freedom and uh, that was influencing the play out wide or in central areas. He was allowed to roam across the attacking third, heavily influencing the play, play firing shots from distance on goal and scoring some great free kicks and scoring some great goals at Barcelona. He doesn't really have that uh, responsibility. His uh, creative liberty has been taken away from Coutinho. He's in a much more rigid role and he's boxed in and he can't really show that creativity that he showed so many times uh, at uh, Liverpool and I think Ernesto Varma Verde instilled a very strict system particularly defensively Barcelona either play 4-4-2 or 4-3-3 formation which, is me which means that just one player is afforded creative freedom to effectively do as he pleases and that player of course is Lionel Messi the best player in the world and Coutinho probably has a lot more defensive responsibilities than he had at Liverpool and that really hindered his effectiveness and I think that stifled his uh, creative ability and that, that's um, one of the main reasons why Coutinho couldn't really blossom and fulfill his potential at, at Liverpool at Barcelona sorry. So Coutinho had a brilliant season last season not the season that just finished but the season when he went to Barcelona because in the first half of the season he scored 12 goals for Liverpool in 20 games and then in the second half of that season he scored 10 goals for Barcelona in 22 games so overall he scored 22 goals in uh, one season which is his by far his best goal scoring season and that but then in the next season Barcelona fell apart uh, at the end of the season they still won the La Liga but the reason why Coutinho went to Barcelona is to win the Champions League and how ironic 
it is that Liverpool win the Champions League just one season after Coutinho goes to Barcelona. It's a similar story how, to how Michael Owen left Liverpool to Real Madrid to win the Champions League and the next season Liverpool win the Champions League in 2005. So Coutinho only scored 11 goals in 53 games. He was booed by Barcelona fans many times actually. And he only got 11 assists in a 76 games for Barcelona and 21 goals. That's a very, very bad return, considering that Barcelona create a bucket load of chances in many, many games. According to Spanish publication Sport, Liverpool could turn their attentions to Coutinho after finding it tough to negotiate a deal for Real Madrid's Marco Asensio. And Coutinho was a fan favorite. He spent five years at Liverpool and he became a cult hero but the big question big uh, problem is that Coutinho only won a league cup at Liverpool so he went to Barcelona in search of winning some trophies and yes he won the Spanish league title last season and this season and he also won the Spanish cup last season but I don't think he's satisfied and even Coutinho himself admitted that this was a very bad season for him and he wants to improve and show uh, the world that he can do much much better. So if you consider that Barcelona paid close to 7 million pounds per goal for Coutinho, so if you consider that Barcelona paid like 7 million pounds per goal scored by Coutinho and that doesn't take into account his 240,000 pounds per week wages it has been a disaster of a transfer for Barcelona and I think and the report is saying this as well Barcelona are said to have lost patience with Coutinho and they are searching for buyers with Manchester United one of the few Premier League clubs who could afford him, Liverpool could afford Coutinho as well, but Coutinho himself said that he would reject any offer that came from Manchester United because of his respect for Liverpool and because he is basically a Liverpool fan. He spent so much time at Liverpool and he became a world-class player at Liverpool. I still consider Coutinho a world-class player and uh, I think uh, in his final season with Liverpool, Coutinho averaged uh, a goal every 86 minutes and also he created 3.2 chances per game, which is brilliant. That's the best statistics of his career. And uh, let me tell you, with Mane, Salah and Firmino up front, Coutinho could really thrive and he knows the Liverpool system already and he knows what Jurgen Klopp wants from him. And I think he could be a massive success coming back to Liverpool if uh, he really like um, says the right things in the first interview back and if he can work out the problems, the personal problems that arose between himself and Jurgen Klopp, I think he could be a great signing honestly because he knows the Liverpool system, he knows the Premier League. I think Coutinho still has a burning ambition of winning the Champions League, winning a Premier League title and he could achieve that at Liverpool and Liverpool need a player like Coutinho. I'm not necessarily saying that Coutinho is the one who could really elevate us to the next level. It could be Bruno Fernandes, it could be another midfielder, but we need a creative uh, attacking midfielder who can also score goals, get assists and who can unlock a defense with brilliant skills and trickery. And I think the, one of the reasons why Coutinho isn't uh, as good at Barcelona is that he, the Barcelona system doesn't really suit Coutinho. Coutinho is not a left winger. He is more of an eye, like an inside forward who, who is drifting along the pitch, sometimes popping up as an attacking midfielder, sometimes he's popping up at the wing. But at Liverpool, he loved to play on the left side of the midfield or as a left winger, cutting inside and either shooting or threading through balls to the fullback or the, the, to the striker, to the winger. So I think Jurgen Klopp could revitalize Coutinho's career. And Coutinho is, uh, ha has to make one of the biggest decisions in his career because he's 27 years old already. So he probably has a good five, six years at the peak of his powers in his career and Coutinho has to think long and hard to make the smartest decision. Because if he stays at Barcelona and if Griezmann comes in and God forbid even Neymar comes in if, if uh, Barcelona sell Usmane Dembele, then Coutinho could really find himself very easily on the bench. 
And do you want to sit on the bench as a 27 year old Brazilian international? I think, uh, I think not. I definitely think not. And uh, uh, at Liverpool, Coutinho would be definitely a starter and he would play like 80% of the games. And Coutinho is having a pretty decent Copa America. He has been playing with much more freedom and uh, much, a lot more joy in uh, the Brazil Brazilian tournament and Coutinho already has 53 games uh, for the Brazil national team so he could get to maybe a hundred games if he stays fit and if he continues to perform at the peak of uh, his powers but as I said I think Coutinho needs to go back either to Liverpool or he needs to go to a club where he can really start the majority of the games and he needs a team who has a, a position that really suits Coutinho because at the moment at Barcelona I don't think Barcelona has a position who, which is suited to Coutinho's game. At Liverpool the team was built around Coutinho when he was there especially for the first like four years and I think Jurgen Klopp could find a solution to Coutinho's problems. I apologize, Coutinho actually didn't win the League Cup with Liverpool because he joined Liverpool in 2012-2013 and Liverpool won the League Cup in the 2012. So I apologize for that. Liverpool uh, couldn't win a trophy under Coutinho in five years, which is, you know, one of the reasons maybe why Coutinho left for Barcelona. And this is so ironic because now Liverpool are in the best position, in my opinion, in the last like 30 years to win multiple trophies in the next three years. So if Coutinho comes back, he would have a great chance to finish an unfinished business in my opinion and to win some big trophies at Liverpool. He won the Italian Cup with Inter Milan, he won the Italian Super Cup as well, he won the Campeonato Brasileiro Serie B with Vasco da Gama in 2009, that's where he started his career and then he only could uh, get to the League Cup final and the Europa League final with Liverpool and they, Liverpool lost both of those finals and then he won two La Liga titles, uh, a Copa del Rey and the Spanish Super Cup at Barcelona. So I think Coutinho has some uh, big trophies under his belt but I think he wants more and the fact that he had such a disastrous season and also the way that Barcelona fans booed him, I think deep down inside Coutinho wants to be at a club where he is loved and at Liverpool he was adored by the Liverpool fans and I think he should have uh, thought maybe a lot more about this transfer because at Barcelona Coutinho is just one of uh, the stars he's not even the major star of the team it's Messi and Suarez and after that maybe it comes Coutinho but, but now even now I think his stock has fallen further down the pecking order and at Barcelona I think he's now maybe the fifth or sixth uh, player if you count the biggest stars at Barcelona especially if Griezmann goes there and Coutinho should go back to Liverpool in my opinion if the transfer uh, fee is right and uh, Liverpool could pay his wages he's at 240k at uh, Barcelona and Liverpool could certainly afford that kind of wages um, because we pay, I think we pay Salah 200k, Van Dijk 150k, something like that. So we could pay Coutinho those kind of wages. And uh, reportedly, reported by the ESPN, uh, Divoco Rigi is a subject of an offer from Real Batiste. The Belgian scored, of course, crucial goals for Liverpool in winning the Champions League. And uh, he still hasn't signed a new contract because they are still negotiating with Liverpool. He just has one year left on his contract. So this is a very dangerous situation. And this is why Real Betis probably came in and pounced on the situation. Because they could get Origi for a cut by price deal. Maybe like 20-25 million. And I think that's not uh, what Liverpool should do. I think we should uh, really try to work out a contract. And uh, according to the reports, Jurgen Klopp really wants to keep Origi and to give him a bigger role uh, next season, to give him more games. He apparently already gave some assurances to Divo Origi, so he will stay at Liverpool. But ultimately, it's in Divo Origi's hands. If he wants to stay and he will accept the contract, then he signs and that's it. If Divo Origi doesn't sign a new contract, Liverpool probably have to sell him because we could lose him for absolutely nothing 
next season and even in the January transfer in the Divo Corrigi could negotiate with any club a new contract outside of England and that's very worrying so I really hope that we keep Divo Corrigi because he is one of the fan favorites and I really really loved him and I really hope that we we keep Origi because uh, I, I feel that he could be a big big player in the future for Liverpool. Fabrizio Romano who is a very reliable journalist he was asked by one of the Liverpool fans are there any Liverpool news and he answered I hope to give you some soon they didn't sign anyone yet so let's see on the next days and enjoy your trophy meaning enjoy the Champions League win and he put a winky face emoji on that uh, tweet as well so he is hopeful that Liverpool will announce one signing in the next few days and le let's hope that uh, he is right he I think uh, knows that there are deals behind the scenes being worked on and it's just a matter of time if it's not I an if but it's a matter of time when Liverpool announce a brand new transfer so I'm really looking forward to that and it looks like Naby Keita's involvement in the Africa Cup of Nations is now over because uh, Naby Keita returned to Liverpool and I don't think he will come back to play in the Africa Cup of Nations uh, Guinea play in the last 16 match just one, one or two days from now and uh, Naby Keita won't recover in that time and I'm not even sure that Guinea will qualify they will be underdogs I think in their last 16 match and now because Lionel Messi was knocked out by Brazil in the Copa America Virgil van Dijk is odds-on favorite to win next year's sorry this year's Ballon d'Or which will be announced I think in December maybe I said next year because I thought it was announced in January but I think they will look at uh, this uh, whole season that Van Dijk had and I think now that Messi doesn't win the Copa America Van Dijk should win because he won the Champions League he almost won the Premier League as well remember that in almost any other season Liverpool would have won the double still Van Dijk elevated Liverpool to an incredibly high level and one of the reasons why we won uh, the Champions League and also why we came so close in the Premier League was Virgil van Dijk and I think he had an immense season he also went to the Nations League final with the Netherlands he ultimately couldn't win the Nations League but I still think that that van Dijk was the player of the season at Liverpool he won the PFA Premier League player of the season award as well and van Dijk should be maybe the second Liverpool player to win the Ballon d'Or after Michael Owen so that would be just a magnificent achievement and Wayne Rooney had a very interesting things to say about Steven Gerrard and the potential of Steven Gerrard doing what Frank Lampard did and take over at the club where he became a hero Frank Lampard just became a Chelsea manager as I predicted in one of my earlier videos and Steven Gerrard could become a Liverpool manager in the future as well Wayne Rooney said this to Sky Sports I think it's brilliant for Frank Lampard but also for any young English players or players who have just finished playing to see big teams like Chelsea giving Frank Lampard an opportunity to prove himself I'm sure at some stage over the next few years Steven Gerrard will get that opportunity at Liverpool Scott Parker, John Terry at Aston Villa it's great for Marcel who wants to go into management to see these lads getting opportunities and it gives you hope that it will happen for you as well I'm not sure if uh, Wayne Rooney would be a good manager but who knows the stranger things have happened and you can't really judge uh, how a player would do as a manager just based on his playing career career because a lot can happen between a player hanging up his boots and and him getting a lot of experience and becoming a manager for a big club and Wayne Rooney also said I'm taking the steps to get my badges completed and when I finish playing I will see what opportunities come up there's already offers which have been made but at the minute I'm still a player and I want to enjoy playing and then I will see which offers are right when I do finish my career there's an opportunity for me to go into management straight away and when I do hang my boots up that decision will be made on what the ambition of the club is first of all and what my ambitions are and what's right for both myself and that particular team so wow it would be fascinating to see Wayne Rooney 
become a manager and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So let me know guys, what do you think about this whole Coutinho transfer situation? Do you want Liverpool to sign him? Do you think we should go for him or not? I would love to hear your opinion. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See you later. Goodbye.